Are you aware of this miracle of prayer during World War II? Adolf Hitler had seized power in Germany in 1933 by promising hope after a depression and devaluation of their currency. His National Socialist Workers' Party eliminated political opposition, took control of health care, and confiscated guns. With lightning speed, over two dozen countries were occupied by the Nazis. In 1,200 concentration camps, over 4 million died. President Franklin D. Roosevelt stated December 21, 1941, Looking into the days to come, I have set aside a day of prayer. And in that proclamation, I have said, the year 1941 has brought upon our nation a war of aggression by powers dominated by arrogant rulers whose selfish purpose is to destroy free institutions. They would thereby take from the freedom-loving peoples of the earth the hard-won liberties gained over many centuries. The new year of 1942 calls for the courage, our strength, as the strength of all men everywhere is of greater avail as God upholds us. Therefore, I do appoint the first day of the year, 1942, as a day of prayer, of asking forgiveness for our shortcomings of the past, of consecration to the tasks of the present, of asking God's help in the days to come. We need his guidance that this people may be humble in spirit, but strong in the conviction of the right steadfast to endure sacrifice and brave to achieve a victory of liberty and peace. In his State of the Union address, January 6, 1942, President Roosevelt stated, our enemies are guided by brutal cynicism, by unholy contempt for the human race. We are inspired by a faith which goes back through all the years to the first chapter of the book of Genesis. God created man in his own image. We, on our side, are striving to be true to that divine heritage. We are fighting as our fathers have fought to uphold the doctrine that all men are equal in the sight of God. Those on the other side are striving to destroy this deep belief and to create a world in their own image, a world of tyranny and cruelty and serfdom. The major turning point was D-Day, June 6, 1944 when 160,000 troops landed along a 50-mile stretch of heavily fortified Normandy coast. It was the largest invasion force in world history, involving 5,000 ships and 13,000 aircraft. The beaches of Omaha, Utah, Gold, Juneau, Sword, and Pointe du Hoc ran red with the blood of over 9,000 killed or wounded. Supreme Allied Commander Dwight Eisenhower ordered, you are about to embark upon the great crusade. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty loving people everywhere march with you. You will bring about the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well trained, well equipped and battle hardened. He will fight savagely and let us all beseech the blessing of Almighty God upon this great and noble undertaking. President Franklin Roosevelt stated June 6, 1944, My fellow Americans, last night when I spoke with you, I knew that at that moment that the troops of the United States and our allies were crossing the channel in another and greater operation. I ask you to join with me in prayer. Almighty God, our sons, pride of our nation, this day have set upon a mighty endeavor, a struggle to preserve our republic, our religion, and our civilization. Give strength to their arms, stoutness to their hearts, steadfastness in their faith. They will need thy blessing. Their road will be long and hard. The enemy is strong. He may hurl back our forces. We know that by thy grace and by the righteousness of our cause, our sons will triumph. Some will never return. Embrace these, Father, and receive them, thy heroic servants, into thy kingdom. Help us, Almighty God, to rededicate ourselves in renewed faith in thee in this hour of great sacrifice. I ask that our people devote themselves in a continuance of prayer as we rise to each new day. And again, when each day is spent, let words of prayer be on our lips, invoking thy help in our efforts. Give us strength. And, O oh Lord, give us faith. Give us faith in thee. With thy blessing, 
we shall prevail over the unholy forces of our enemy and a peace that will let all men live in freedom, reaping the just rewards of their honest toil. Thy will be done, almighty God, amen. Well, as we remember that America had faith during World War II, it inspires us to have faith today.